What's up fam? Today we're gonna be doing a special vlog. We're gonna be doing a cooking vlog, something that we never done on Sham's channel, which is my daughter's channel. So today I'm gonna be cooking, whipping up one of my kids, my family's favorite dinner. Um, it's gonna be a pot roast. Uh, I'm gonna wash my hands and I'm gonna show you guys step by step and what I'm using, the ingredients and all that good stuff. So hold on for a minute while I wash my hands. So, lather it up real good, right? Hot water always, guys. Kills a lot of germs. I can't say all germs, but mostly all of them. That's what I was told anyway, so. But anyway, I'm gonna grab some paper towels. Hold on for a minute, dry my hands off. Pick the camera and show you guys what I'm about to whip up on today on Sham's videos. Okay guys, today we're whipping up a chuck roast, right? I got the onion, I got a whole bell pepper. You guys might be saying, why you got a jalapeno? Because my kids, my family, we like a little spice in our life. Got the baby carrots, I got the red potatoes that I'm going to chop up with the rest of this stuff, you know. I got the American's favorite, Laurie's seasoning. We got the soy sauce. We got the garlic salt, Laurie's. We got the garlic powder. We got the lemon pepper, guys. I don't know if you guys can see that. Focus, focus, focus. Well, anyway, that's lemon pepper. And we got a little paprika, right? Then we got the all-purpose flour, guys. And um, the Worcestershire sauce. I don't know if I'm saying that right. Worcestershire sauce or whatever it's called. But anyway, guys, you guys know what that is. Um... Yeah, I'm about to whip this up. I'm about to cut up everything, guys. So, stay tuned, and I'll be right back. Peace. Okay, guys, I'm back. I just chopped up everything. I want to show you guys how everything's chopped up. The onion, the jalapeno, the bell pepper, the red potatoes. These, I throw in whole because they're already small. So, right now, guys, what we're about to do is we're about to saute up all the vegetables about to saute up all the vegetables I use what I use in mine to saute my vegetables is hold on I'm going to turn the fan off I'm going to smoke up that bad what I use to saute up my vegetables guys is um, butter I don't use uh, cooking oil I like a little flavor to mine so you can use oil if you prefer, but I prefer butter. So, hold on, grab a spoon. Couple of tablespoons of butter. Let that melt down a little bit. And then what we're going to do, guys, we're going to go over here and, uh, what I want to do is I want to wash this meat off, guys. I always wash my meat. Uh, I don't know about you guys, but I don't know what they do at the butcher shops or wherever, however they do their meat, but I'm not trusting it. So really, nigga? what I do, I wash my meat off, take it out this, sinks clean, rinse the meat off real good, guys, both sides, right? Rinse this meat off real good on both sides. A little plastic right there. Keep the meat fresh. Okay, what I'm gonna do, that's nice and rinsed off real good. What I'm gonna do, guys, is um, I wanna tender this up a little more. So I'm gonna stab holes in it like it's a steak. So. I'm gonna do both sides like this, right? Butter's melting, you can hear it over there sizzling. Put some holes in this for all the seasonings and all that good stuff and get through. Now, guys, hold on, I'm gonna set this camera down. Cause, uh, oh, by the way, did I show you guys everything chopped up? I'm sorry, I think I did. 
but hold on for a minute. We're gonna season this up. I'm gonna show you guys. So, Laurie's, right? We're gonna go garlic powder, right? Little garlic salt, cause I already put the Laurie's. So we're gonna go lemon pepper. Oh, that's all right. And then we want to go a little paprika, guys, a little bit. And then what you want to do is you want to flip it over, right? And do the other side the same way. So you're going to go Lari's again, right? Then you want to go garlic salt lightly. Then you want to go garlic powder. I love garlic. I don't know about you guys. More garlic. Mo garlic, I love garlic. Lemon pepper, right? Now, what we're gonna do is go over here. Hold on for a minute. Let me grab some. Throw these. Grab some and throw these. Uh, grab some. Throw these onions, and vegetables. So I can throw them in there and saute them real quick. Bell pepper, jalapeno. So yeah, guys, the kids is at school. So I um, normally, you know, get my dinner going early. That way I won't have to cook. Start getting hot a little later, man. So I'll try to get this out the way. Dropping all the vegetables in, guys. You know what? This one thing I almost forgot. Guys, I almost forgot. Check this out. Hold on for a minute. I cook everything with the with the fresh garlic, though. Oh my goodness, it makes the food so bomb, guys. It makes the food so bomb. Hold on. Get another spoon. What you want to do, guys? You want to? Grab some out, right? Ah, throw a little bit in there like that, though. You know, mix them up real good. Oh my goodness, it flavors the food so bomb, you guys. So I'm stirring these vegetables, sauteing them, right? Oh, a little more. That's a big rope. So let me put this back. Vegetables are cooking. Meat over there, seasoning. Now what I'm going to do, I forgot to show you guys something. I need to dump, well pour, I should say, a little soy sauce. See that? Then what I'm going to do, sorry guys, I'm going to get the Worcestershire sauce. Dump a little bit of that on there. Then you wanna flip it, right? Remember, you gotta flip it. You gotta hit both sides, guys. So, a little more Worcestershire sauce, right? Both sides, bam. Now, check this out. A little more soy sauce. I think it breaks the meat down or something. I don't know, but it does something to this meat. And flavors it so good. Mm, 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 it's bomb. But, um, Hold on for a minute, guys. Let me stir these vegetables for you guys. They cooking. Got them kind of cooking on low a little bit. My girl, Shireen, she been wanting me to do a cooking vlog because, you know, they all my family, everybody in my family, not just my media family that's in my household loves my cooking, but everybody loves my cooking. You know, they want me to open a restaurant. Hesitant, but... I still might though, still might. I went and looked at a couple, I don't know if you guys seen the vlog a few weeks ago. Me and my uh, girl went to look at uh, some some uh, restaurants. One was empty, one was already ready and going, but the guy flaked out on us and 
wasn't the right location and the term uh the term i'm sorry they wanted us to be in a five-year lease and uh i'm not about to sign no five-year lease with nobody not on no business because anything can happen and i advise you guys not to do it neither so me myself and i when i do businesses our opening business is uh, and it's retail or restaurant or anything a business a shop or building whatever it's going to be a year to year at least the most i'm not going to never go over that because anything is possible and anything can happen so i advise you guys not to do it neither i advise you guys not to do it either so i got these vegetables cooking the oven is a uh, preheated already the oven's already preheated so you know that's ready for this good old marinated chuck roast that I'm about to throw in there hold on let me grab some guys to put let me grab some guys put that in too while we wait this girl got all kinds of these little Tupperware they come in handy though they do come in handy oh. so I got my chuck roast in there chuck roast is in there guys vegetables marinating sauteing I should say sorry mm -mm -mm. man I wish you guys could smell that aroma Ooh. so good it fogged up the screen Rinse the sink out real quick. I'm gonna have to wash it once we're done. Yeah, guys, but um, that's really you know how to cook um, a, a chuck roast. What I'm gonna do, I'm gonna take this um, these vegetables out now because they they're done, and I'll get back to you guys in a minute when I do that because it's the second step to it. Peace. Okay guys, so step two, here's what you want to do. You want to grab some flour, right? You want to flour, you got the grease getting warm, hot. You want to flour up your meat on both sides. You know, brown, for you can brown it, right? You want to flour it up on both sides real good. Then you want to brown it, right? See? I'm gonna brown it on both sides right here. See what I'm saying? Man, that's gonna be delicious. Alright, you can smell it. What you gonna do? You got your sauteed vegetables right here. Already ready. The oven's already preheated, guys. 350. I'm gonna get my pot ready. Then I'm gonna cook my roast in. Then I, my favorite pot. That I love cooking. You know how everybody got that favorite pot they love to cook. I got I got one. It's an old beat up one. And I love it. I put in work on this thing. Look at that. This thing didn't put in work. You see that bottom? See that bottom? This thing didn't put in work, y'all. But then, anyway, this is the big pot that I'm going to cook it in. I got to find the top. Hold on, guys. The top should be right here somewhere. That's the top. Oh, perfect. It is the top. Okay, guys. Let me flip this over. Be brown. Oh yeah. See how it's browned on one side? I'm gonna cook it brown on both sides. Then what you want to do after that guys, you want to take it out, put it in your pot, right? Put the top on it. Throw your vegetables in there. Put the top on it. And cook it for like a couple hours and it's gonna be so tender so after when you're done after you cook it for a couple hours in the oven right 
you want to throw your potatoes in there and your carrots oh yeah I almost forgot we almost forgot one thing you can't forget the string beans what are you talking about Willis the string beans jumping off guys string beans in our with the um, carrots and the potatoes and uh I'll get back with you guys after this brown. Peace. Alrighty guys, now we got the saute vegetables on top that I sauteed a little earlier. Now, so guys, I got that in there. We're going to cook that for about an hour and a half, two hours. Then we're going to pop the potatoes and the string beans and the carrots in there. And cook them for about 45 more minutes after the two hours and then um, two and a half hours to three hours you're gonna see the, the results I'll show you guys peace two hours all right guys later. I'm done with the finished uh, product the roast that I just showed you guys earlier is done it's completed if you look here I'm gonna move over all the string beans and just show you how easy tender that roast is and how it just falls apart you got the blueberry cornbread you got some white rice pot of white rice you guys can you know cook something else if you choose option but I like white rice with mine with a little gravy on top How's that good? The girl got away. Oh. You're recording me. You told me to give you a warning. I'm setting you up. You're snitching now. I didn't say nothing. I said that's good that she got away. We're all at this time. I can't stand the police. Police suits are bad. Not all police. Most of them. I think the bad. Got good cops, you got bad cops. Majority of them are bad. They're not But um, comment down below. Let me know if you want me to do more vlogs like this here on Shan's video. Until next time, love and peace. I'm out.